Hey, welcome back everybody. HY here making another gun video today. Today I brought out my Sig Sauer 226 Elite. This is chambered in 40 Smith & Wesson. Go over a few features of it real quick though. Let's make sure your gun's safe. Did put an empty mag in. Gun is safe. One of the main features I do like about Sig does have a hammer drop as well too. There are no safeties on these guns. Like I always say with every Sig Sauer, you are the safety with them. With all their pistols. It does come standard with Picatinny rail as well too. You can match your light, laser, other things of that nature. With this being the Elite model, you do get a few stainless features on it as well too. Your magazine release, your hammer drop, and your slide release as well as your trigger do come in stainless with it being Elite. You get a nice beaver tail grip as well too. Gives you a real nice hold on the gun. Go over a few things. It does have a little bit more of an enhanced on the butt as well too. It does give you a little bit better grip on it as well. Go over a few more things with this gun as well too. It is like every other SIG, single action and double action. Double action pull is about 12 pounds. It does not stack though. It is a very nice trigger pull still. You can also still fire single action as well too. Show you all the trigger on these things. They're very nice. It's another what I like to call touch and go. It's a touch and go. It's about a four pound trigger pull. So if you're going to carry, make sure you drop your hammer on it as well too. Takedown, extremely easy. It's very easy on these guns. Insert an empty magazine. Lock your slide back. There's a little lever right here. You push that down where it's pointing down. Drop your magazine. Release your slide. Gun comes apart in two halves. Make sure whenever you clean, you get down into this groove as well too. It does like to build up down there. Make sure you clean in your magazine well. Very, well, very good as well too. If you did ever want to change the trigger in this, it is very easy. It's just a few little pins pretty much and you can change your trigger out. Be very careful whenever you're taking this out right here with your spring and your guide rod. Make sure that you hold the guide rod in as you hold that. Guide rod and spring comes out. Make sure that you clean the guide rod very well. It's very good as well too. Barrel slides straight out. Make sure you get in your barrel. Clean these really good. These are match grade barrels. They do shoot very, very nice. These will actually outshoot most 1911s. Whenever you get in here, make sure you clean. Make sure you clean that groove right there that the barrel weighs in. As well as in the slide as well too. A lot of carbon does like to build up in there as well too. I did clean this right before we got started, so I won't have it, you know, I won't have to pull out my brushes and everything. Reassembly though, same way the gun came apart. Lock in your barrel. Make sure with your guide rod that you put the whole spring in first. That you put that end of it in. And you put that little flat side right there, the big end of it, rest against the barrel. And just slide this on right here. Insert your empty magazine. Lock it back. Drop your lever. Drop your magazine. Slide drops. Drop your hammer. And you're done. It's very easy. A few other things I wanted to go over. This does come with night sights as well too from the factory. Also comes with three factory magazines. Came with 12 round magazines. You can also get 14s as well too from the factory if you if your state allows you to have those, you can get the 14ers. They have a big bump stop on them. But you can carry 14 rounds in these as well, too. Uh, a few other things I do like about this. This does come with aluminum grips as well, too. It does give you a very nice checkering to hold the gun. Other places they did put checkering. Y'all can see this right here on the trigger guard as well, too, for those of you do, who do like to hold your gun up here. They also put checkering around the grip here and on the back strap as well too. So there is checkering everywhere. A few other things I do like, they did put uh, the checkering right here on the slide as well too and up front on the slide. I don't know why you'd grab it up here, but you can as well too. Did also come with a very nice hard case. I forgot to bring it with me today, but it does come with a hard case like all other SIGs. That's one thing I do like SIG about it is they do always give you a good hard case. These are great guns to have. This is probably one of the best shooting pistols that I have in my safe. It will outshoot most 1911s that I've shot it against. These are great guns. They're very much worth the money. On the retail market, though, they are a little bit pricey. About $1,000 uh, for one in this caliber is about what it's going to cost you. You can also, as well, too, uh, you can pick these up on the used market, about eight or 900 for one in a really clean. I picked this one up off of the used market, so they are out there. You just have to really hunt for them. Not many people give these up that get one. 
I have shot this a lot. Out of over a thousand rounds, I have less than, had less than three jams out of the entire gun. Not many even Glock owners can say they've had less than three jams over a thousand rounds. Hope y'all are having a great day. Let me know if there's any other guns y'all like to see. HYL.